I want to reduce the size of some images and then save them for web and devices and then copy them and paste them into a new file uh, where I have several several images composed in one file and I'm working in Photoshop and notice that my image file is at 30 percent so what I'm going to do off screen is reduce the size of the, the images and then save them so uh, I'll do this with one then I'll repeat the process off screen so I want to go to file oops I mean image size image size okay and I want to say I want it to be about about 300 now let me do it smaller 200 by approximately 200 pixels okay now now it's at 30 percent so that looks like a postage stamp but it's actually much bigger so um, I'm gonna pause and make it full size okay so now it's at 100 percent and I want to go to save for web and devices file save for web and devices I could do save as but I'm gonna save for web and devices and I'm going to hit save and I want it to go to my desktop for the time being and save okay now I'm going to go through and do the other ones off screen. Okay, so I've saved all my images. I've made, made them uh, smaller and they're all 198 pixels high because I want to maintain a consistency. And now I want to um, open a new file, uh, file new, and I want to it to be at least, if they're all 198 pixels high, so 200 times four, that's 800 plus a couple of extra, say a thousand pixels high by and the width I'd say 1200 because some of them are wider than others okay so now I have my new file and I'm going to uh, pause for a second okay and I separated the file and I just want to I can hit command all I'm in this file I clicked on it command V and okay so on this one I hit command all command copy and now in this one I'm gonna hit command V now that is off screen so let me bring that in okay so here it is I've brought it in and here's my layer I'm gonna grab my move tool I'm going to position it I think I've made my image too big but don't worry about that I will um, my, my new file I can crop it in a second so now I've moved that into position and I'm going to copy and paste each of the other ones another one going and I'm gonna grab my move tool here move this one over here Go back to my other file, command all, command copy, go back to my new file, command V. Each time I'm adding another layer. And there we go. Now I can I can arrange them however I like. Um, but I have to access the layer in order to do it. Okay, but for all intents and purposes, I'm gonna pause and rearrange them and then I'll show you how to crop. Okay, so I've arranged my four images and um, there's there the layers so if I want to move them I have to just you know move the layer in order oops okay in order to move the, the image all right so the next thing I want to do is crop and I can crop like this or I can you know um, use another tool to reduce the artboard oh no I'm thinking of illustrator forget that I'm gonna crop the image okay move that up a little bit and go to image crop okay and now I have a small image that I can save for web and devices so if I if say if say that were a, you know a size that I, I didn't like I wanted to make it smaller I, I couldn't make it larger because I've already reduced the um, pixelation I've reduced the resolution of these images when I reduced the size of them down so much so if I were going to make it larger um, the this image larger it would re, it would lose its uh, focus it would get fuzzy and blurry so we don't want to do that so I planned ahead gave myself plenty of room to work and cropped it to a good size and if I want to put my name on the bottom you know I would grab a type uh, the text um, tool and type my name in the bottom and so then I want to go to file save for web and devices if I did want to change the size I could I can save Untitled one, leave it at that, save, I'm done. Okay, I hope that um, makes some sense and is helpful. Let me know if that works.